guys, welcome back. Uh, this will, I guess you could say, this is kind of a upcoming projects uh, uh, clip, uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, as you can see here, I've got two of these triangular tube boxes taped together. There's something very large in here. As a matter of fact, uh, I was working out of state um, about a month ago and came across this in a pawn shop. Actually, no, it wasn't really a pawn shop, it was a gun shop. And I saw this and I was like, hmm, I wonder if I can get the rest of that. What's inside of here is a gun stock. Um, but what we're going to do is I'm, gonna, I'm going to attempt to open this. I taped this thing very heavily, uh, quite frankly, because it was just easier to send it back home. Of course, I did pay an exorbitant amount for shipping, unfortunately. Um, but I think it was worth it. Um, by the time it was all said and done, I want to say this item cost me about maybe $125. Um, and it looks like I started at the wrong end. We're going to power through it so we can get this thing out of here. You guys might be able to tell what it is already. So this, boys and girls, looks like I got tape on it in the wrong spot. Is a Mosin stock. Now, I know you guys are thinking, yeah, well, you can find a Mosin Nagant stock anywhere. Well, go out and price one right now. Um, as a matter of fact, I dare say, try to find one that isn't busted or that doesn't, or that, you know, doesn't have any sort of splits in it. Um, just go out, see what it'll cost you. Um, they're not cheap. Um, that's one of the reasons I bought this. Additionally, um, wow, I really wrapped this in a lot of bubble wrap. Man, I kind of wish I hadn't put so much bubble on that now. But I wanted to make sure it was protected. Um, yeah, this is a mess. off here because what I did what was interesting about this wow I need to change that blade out what was interesting about this Mosin got stock is the fact that of course it is the stock but it also comes with nearly all if I can keep from cutting myself nearly all the metal hardware as well as cleaning rod gonna be fun getting that tape off. Wow, I really messed that one up, but the cleaning rod is in great shape. Uh, I don't think that's, that might be a little bit of pitting there, but it's been arsenal. it looks like it's been arsenal refinished at some point. Um, on the other token, and you guys can weigh in on the comments on this one, because I'm really, wow, I'm gonna have fun getting this off. I should have never stuck this, oh my gosh. That was stupid. Should have never stuck this on here. Man. Well, I kind of made a mess out of this. I can probably wet it to get it off of here, but I did not expect that sticker to basically stick to it like it did. Anyway, this is a very interesting uh, Mosin Nagant stock, and I don't really know that much about it. Um, of course, you guys know that emblem. Now, this one has had a repair. You can see it on the bottom side of this buttstock. However, if you look closely here, and I'll insert a picture, it has been dovetailed. So this is a it looks looks to me like an Arsenal repair. I could be wrong. It has a number five down here on the bottom of the wrist. Um, what other markings? It's got another five here. There's some kind of weird looking E there. Looks like you got some sort of Russian markings there. I don't even know what they are. But, you know, it's got the upper hand guard, it's got both barrel bands, and it's got the cleaning rod. 
does not have a butt plate that's not a big deal you can get butt plates all day long um, but it's in really good shape and so I found this for seventy five dollars in a in a gun shop and um, got back home I gave James a call I said hey do you guys have any Mosin barreled actions he said oh yeah we've got quite a few different ones he's like is there a particular type you're looking for I said well <laughs> I don't really know. I said, I've got this, I'm getting this stock. I said, I didn't notice at the time that it had this little burn spot for a turn down bolt. Now, I don't know if somebody bubbed this or if it's original. Um, I don't know much about these. Um, but I told James, I said, hey, listen, I'll take plenty of pictures of it. Um, I'll take some measurements and I'll include those when I send in my order for that barrel of action. I said, pick out. Uh, I said when I send it to you just pick out what you think is the best uh, candidate to be accurate as far as what goes with this so that's what I'm gonna do um, I'll say that's what I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna get some pictures uh, I'm gonna get some measurements I'm gonna send it send in my order to James and say hey find a really good looking mat numbers match if you can barrel to action you know bolt and receiver all that fun stuff you know, obviously trigger guard and if you can throw in a butt plate and a couple of screws I would appreciate that and I'm gonna get this order fired off to him and I'm gonna build or assemble a Mosin Nagant. I already have one of these uh, you've seen you, I don't know if I've shown it in one of my previous videos I can't remember I've done so many that I got from AIM surplus back in the day for $99 which was a smoking deal of course it was an Arsenal refurb and I do believe it has been counterboard but that's not the end of the world um, so anyway that's going to be one of the upcoming projects once I get all this terrible sticker residue off of it. Gosh, I still can't believe I did that. Anyway, um, but yeah, so I'm going to get one of those barreled actions from Hunter's Lodge and assemble a Mosin Nagant because you never have too many Mosin Nagants. It's kind of like SKSs. So, anyway, stay tuned for more to come. Thanks for watching, guys, and you guys have a great day.